Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bridget and here at Wagdoll I like to talk about over 40 fashion and lifestyle. If you're new here I'd love it if you could click the subscribe button and notification bell below and if you're a returner welcome back. So today I have a mini loungewear haul. Uh, it's just a couple of pieces, a co-ord and a couple of separates which arrived from Apricot Clothing last week and I just wanted to show you how you can style loungewear at home, how we're kind of wearing it in lockdown but also how you can take those pieces that we've been buying uh, forward as we return to some sort of normality hopefully and how they, be they can become part of your everyday wardrobe. So first up let's talk about the uh, black knitted cord which I received. Uh, this is available in beige but you know me, my trademark black and it consists of a massively oversized poncho style cape roll neck jumper with some gorgeously tight cuffs as well um, so it's nice when something is so oversized as this to have an area of tightness to show some definition and it uh, is teamed with these matching knitted they're listed as joggers but I think they're pretty much leggings uh, and when something is so oversized as this jumper it's nice to have something tight on the bottom um, so that you don't look like you're drowning in fabric uh, and this has the most cutest little kangaroo pockets on the front and it is the most snuggliest outfit for just getting cosy on the sofa and that's how I've styled it here in the cutaway. How you would traditionally wear it is just cosy on the sofa, nice and snuggly, some fluffy slippers but also I did style this cord when I went for a walk the other day and I showed a picture on my Instagram and I'll insert that here and I styled it with a Uniglo heat tech long sleeve top underneath as a layering piece. If you don't know about those they are the most amazing layering pieces. I'm actually wearing the vest version here. I've got them in a few different colours and a few different styles and it, they're almost like thermal, thin thermal fabric and they're so toasty gorgeously warm. So I teamed this cord with a long sleeve top underneath as a layering piece and I was gorgeously warm. I wore it with a pashmina scarf as well, grey pashmina scarf which is here. This is also from Apricot and I think that just looks like such a chic, um, practical walking outfit. So yes, loved that. But I'm going to show you how I styled these pieces separately as well. So we'll start with the jumper. So a black knitted roll neck jumper, what can you say? I've got a few already. Who doesn't? Um, but you can never have enough because they are such a staple workhorse of the wardrobe. And this one I love because the knit is quite fine, so although it's massively oversized, it works really well layered under things because it's not too bulky. Um, so I wore it with a classic camel coat. This has been my hero piece of the last couple of years. It's from Primark. Yes, it's from Primark. Um, and I have never moved so fast as when I saw this last one on the rail. Honestly, Usain Bolt has nothing on me. I saw this on the rail and dived for it. Um, and it has been such a fantastic bargain. I think it cost me around £30. And a camel coat, what can you say? It's just such a classic piece. Looks fabulous with black and neutral colours. Um, and you can dress it up. It's a formal coat. But you can equally dress it down, as I have done in the cutaways here, with the roll neck. Um, and I teamed it with some trainers and the grey pashmina. And how much am I loving grey and camel together? They're not a combination that I normally would go for, but I saw a couple of people wearing this on Pinterest and it's such a great colour combination. Warm camel, cool grey, who would know that those go together so well, but they really do. Uh, and then the black underneath is like a nice base layer. And instead of the knitted leggings, I wore them with... these fabulous croc print uh, leggings. So they're a bit like my faux leather, much loved Topshop leggings, but they're in a kind of croc print fabric. And uh, when I'm wearing black, a whole outfit of black, I do like to have some texture in there. So for example, faux leather leggings or these croc print or some knitted texture, just so that it, um, it breaks up the acreage of black and add some interest to the outfit. So yeah, these were great, they're from Max and Spencer's. They're nice and tight, like skinnies. I think when you're wearing an oversized jumper like, like the roll neck, you need something nice and tight and fitted on the bottom so that you don't look like you're drowning in fabric. So 
Moving back to the knitted leggings, um, I was trying to think how I could style these in a slightly different way. My immediate instinct was to wear a nice long jumper over the top, pretty much similar to the black one. But then I thought, no, I'm kind of feeling equestrian vibes from leggings. I think when you wear them with knee-high boots, and I'm going to show you in the cutaway how I've styled this, uh, you almost get almost like an equestrian vibe, and that's very on trend at the moment. And when I say equestrian, um, I'm thinking more Julie Cooper riders rather than Grand National Jockey. <laughs> well, that's no look that we want to go for. So yes, I teamed these with a trademark black roll neck. This is a, a skinny black roll neck, um, and teamed it with this tweed kind of country style blazer. This is a, just such a fabulous blazer. It's single breasted. I got it from H&M last year, I think, but tweed blazers are very in at the moment. They're all over the high street. I'll try and find some alternatives and link them below. It's single breasted. Um, it's a gorgeously like almost knitted fabric. I suppose that's what tweed is. And it's, it's got a good stretch to it as well. So I think you can get away with wearing leggings when you're wearing a nice long blazer over the top. So it doesn't have to be a long jumper with leggings. You can wear something long and more tailored like a blazer. And uh, yeah, just loving that vibe. So I thought that was a more unusual way of wearing leggings, but definitely give that a go if you've got a nice longer length blazer um, cover up your bottom. So moving on to the second outfit, which I received from Apricot, which is there are a couple of separates, but they go to, together so well. It's a pink sweatshirt, lounging around oversized sweatshirt, and some grey knitted joggers. These joggers are the softest, most cosiest fabric ever. They're a kind of grey mal material, uh, and they've got a drawstring, and they're massively oversized pockets as well, which is really nice. Uh, massively oversized, so you can cinch in the drawstring at the waist. I probably could have gone down to a size eight, but I think when you're wearing loungewear, it's nice to have that oversized vibe. And then this is a, just a really relaxed, soft pink oversized sweatshirt, Logan sweatshirt, logo sweatshirt. Uh, and they go together really well, but because they are massively oversized, I think I would only wear them together around the house. Um, I don't want to look like I'm drowning in fabric when I'm outside the house. So together these make a gorgeous loungewear outfit and I've teamed them together on the cutaway as I would be wearing them for loungewear. And I'll also show you a picture of how I styled them for my Instagram. But basically it's with fluffy slippers and a just get cosy on the sofa kind of vibe. But how I'm styling them separately, let's just have a look at the sweatshirt. So. The sweatshirt, I wanted to go with a kind of preppy vibe, a kind of 1980s preppy vibe. And I think that this colour, soft pink, just goes so well with blue denim. And these are a pair of the Hannah jeans, which I showed in my new look haul last week. Um, I originally ordered them in a size 12 because I wanted them oversized so I could cinch them in and stupidly didn't realise that they were already oversized so they were too big for me. So I sent those back and ordered them in a size 10 and they are perfect. I love this wash colour of denim, I love the raw hem uh, and put them together, tucking in the sweatshirt so that you have some definition at the waist and adding a belt as well. I just love that whole kind of 1980s preppy vibe and I added some loafers, same colour as the belt and I think that just makes a really great casual but put together outfit. So yes I love that together um, and you can always get away with an oversized top as long as you do the little half tuck at the front and show some definition at the waist. Um, yes, yeah, so loving that. I think it would work equally well with mom style jeans and with um, paper bag jeans. I did try it with skinnies but they didn't look as nice so a looser fit jean I think is, is the way to go with something like this. And then last but not least is the knitted joggers and how I styled them for outside. So because these are so oversized and almost bedroomy because they're so soft and cosy, I wanted to toughen them up a little bit. So I teamed them with that wardrobe classic again, a black leather biker jacket. 
So this one is from H&M and I got it in a size 8, but because it's quite oversized, I think sizing down to a size 8 made it just that little bit more fitted. Um, and you can buy a leather biker jacket, four leather, real leather, range from £30 up to £300, anything in between. But whichever you get, you will get so much wear out of it. They are amazing at toughening up an outfit, so something soft and kind of loungy like this toughens it right up but also it will dress down um, a, like a, a summer dress you can wear it uh, moving into spring yeah such a, a workhorse of the wardrobe is that and I teamed it with quite controversially for an over 40s account uh, a white crop top I know that lots of people would shy away from a white crop top um, particularly if you're conscious about your tummy area um, or conscious that you feel like you're too old. I hate that phrase. I can't tell you how much I hate that phrase. There is no such thing as too old. There's just different ways to style. Please, let's just say different ways to style. So, different ways to style this crop top is that I would pretty much only wear it if I had amazingly high-waisted bottoms, which these are. Because they're so oversized, pull them up, cinch them in. Nice little crop top and you get pretty much an inch of skin, which is just such the, the cutest look. Um, and I think because these are so oversized, I needed to go with something quite fitted and just showing a little bit of skin. Um, I think that looked amazing. So definitely consider a crop top. Please don't rule them out. If you're wearing something high-waisted, you're kind of, it's almost just like wearing something tucked in, to be honest. Um, but you get a smoother line because nothing's all gathered up. So yeah, I think that worked really well and that was how I styled the grey joggers. So that's the end of my mini haul. Um, that's kind of how I'm shopping at the moment. It's just a few pieces and trying to find different ways of styling them. And I'm sure you have similar pieces in your wardrobe. If you've been buying some lockdown loungewear, let's look at how we can take those forward and work them into our everyday wardrobe. So I hope I've given you some ideas as to how to do that. Um, and if you want some more inspiration on, on what I'm wearing during the day, then please head over to my Instagram. My handle there is at Wagdoll. And I hope to see you over there and I hope to see you back here on my channel soon. Uh, take care and much love. Bye bye.